Hello, hello, and welcome to Games Revisited. It is episode 59, and we're continuing our playthrough of Chrono Trigger. We finished off Marley's series of side quests. We uh, found out that Yankra's been holding a grudge ever since we beat him in 600 AD, and he dipped into the same bag of tricks, impersonated the Chancellor, caused all sorts of trouble, and we ended up defeating him again anyway. In some ways, a little bit easier than we did the last time, but part of that's because of the level that we're at. We are slightly over-leveled for where you normally would be in, uh, if, if you were just playing through without spending time to grind up any levels. So um, keep that in mind as we go through the next little bit. Right now, we're going to switch up the party just a little bit, because again, I want to get Magus capped out on all his techs. I'd love to get him a, a little more on par as far as levels go, but that's not that's not overly overly concerning. Uh, let's go ahead and save real quick. And now, ooh, do I want Marley or Frog? Ah, uh, Marley's got the better. Uh, mm -mm. All right. What's what's the healing text that Frog has? He's got Slurp, which is a small amount of healing. He's got Heal, which is moderate to everybody, and he's got Cure 2, which is large to one person. Uh, I th yeah, you know what? I love having Marley in the party, but I think I'm going to go ahead and put Frog in there as my healer. Because he at least has some decent offensive capabilities, too. I could throw Robo in there. His, his healing isn't bad either. Uh, but I don't think he's got the Cure Beam, which is a small amount to one person. Heal Beam, which is a small amount to everybody. And yeah, no, that's it. He's just got a couple of small heals for everybody. So I guess we'll go with uh, Chrono, Frog, and Magus. And no, oh, no, let's talk to the old man first. Because we finished everybody's little side quest. What you get to say? You wish to fight Lavos, correct? Many paths lie before you. You might choose to leap into that bucket or fly to fly the wings of time to the day of Lavos. Or there is the Black Omen, which now straddles time, seeking to summon Lavos yet again. Such folly, lusting so greedily after power, that the power wields you. It is up to you to decide when and where you face Lavos. However, do not think that you stand alone. I have had glimpses, albeit vague, of events, people, and places that will empower you. Speak to your companions. Some among you may well know these figures behind the events which I have seen. Borrow the might of all these lives that are the ages. Oh, okay. Okay, we've already done that. We've done everybody's little side quest. We've got everybody's little extra thing. So, he's right. You can jump into the bucket, which will take you to Lavos directly. Um, and that gets you one ending. You can go to the Cataclysm, 1999, and fly directly into Lavos. And that has certain advantages um, that you'll have to see on your own. Because that's not the one I'm actually going to do. I'm actually going to go to Antiquity. Because you can also go to the Black Omen. And the Black Omen is present in Antiquity, in the Middle Ages, in the present, and in the future. And depending on when you go to visit it, it, it'll everything's a little bit different. So for the playthrough that I want to do as the first go around, I'm going to go to Antiquity <clears throat> and go after the Black Omen there. Huh. Weren't we over by the castle? What is in here? A small cave. What's in the small cave? Oh, the portal. Interesting. I didn't realize that. All right. You ready? Do, do, do. Here we go. Return to the epoch. No, not yet. Oof. Ready? Set. Lasers. Okay. This shouldn't be too hard. Let's throw a dark mist that should hit everybody. And just for the sake of overkill, let's throw some luminaire. 
And let's have a little water too on cue just in case. Nope. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the first little bit was more than enough. I like it. And some XP. 48 tech points. Which should actually get us pretty close to where we want with Magus. And then we can swap some people back in that I'd rather have. Uh, Tex Magus. How many does he need? He just needs 31 tech points. We should be able to get 31 tech points. Especially since the first boss you run into... Um, uh, gives you 50 tech points. So, yeah, if we don't get it before the boss, we'll definitely have it after the boss. And there's more bosses after that, so, you know, nothing too bad. Uh, da -da -da -da. Yeah. Yeah, there's a couple of things that you can charm out of this guy, too. Uh, a Vigil Hat and an Elixir. But neither one's worth the effort. So we're not going to swap in Ayla for the party. Fools, have you not learned your lesson? We are made immortal. We shall live forever with Lavos, who feasts upon this planet from within. Now he rests and gathers strength, but in a mere 14,000 years, he will emerge to rain destruction upon Earth and crown himself its king. And every age you go to, she'll say how many years until 1999, basically. And um, also, if you go in the future... She'll tell you it's too late, because, well, it is. The cataclysm's already happened. The Black Omen is the path which leads to Lavos. It is the conduit through which our limitless power flows. As long as the almighty Lavos reigns, your dreams are for naught. <laughs> Maniacal laugh. Oh, hey, there's the boss I was just talking about. Sacrifice yourselves to Lavos and fulfill the only purpose left to you. <laughs> I guess we gotta worry if the queen is twirling her mustache, huh? Alright, let's, uh... Actually, no, black hole won't do anything. Let's do that. Let's do that. And... Oh. Nah, uh, we'll do a water tube for now. And then the frog squash later. Oh, the frog squash depends on frog's health being low, and I, I don't I don't like the I don't relish the idea of uh doing that. I mean the top and the bottom have a fair amount of hit points, so yeah, we might have to start dipping into the double and triple techs. Alright, let's do the dark. We're doing a luminary. Let's go ahead and do the lightning rod. Especially now that there's only one half remaining. Yeah. Oh, there was one half remaining. <laughs> All right, 900 XP, 50 tech points. That's what I wanted. And gold is always nice. Dark matter is what we are after. There we go. So Dark Matter attacks all enemies with darkness. It is his ultimate attack. Black Hole gives you a chance of uh, banishing somebody. But what I'm actually going to do is now we're going to go to the party. And we're going to swap some people out. Um, Magus is nice and all that. But the question is, do I want to go with Ayla or do I want to go with somebody else? I might go with Luca to round out the... Uh, the elemental, the elemental powers, but I could also go with Robo or Marley. Marley's biggest contribution, though, is healing, so, uh, oh no, because we're going to need more physical people, so let's trade, let's keep Magus for now, all right, because we're about to run into a lot of goons that uh, require the physical touch. Hi, guys. Oof. That hurt. Nice. Alright, some XP and gold. And Magus' level increased yet again. That is partly why I wanted him. That should help him. This, this should help him catch up pretty quick. Hello, Mr. Turrets. 
can't remember if they also absorb magic or not. I know a lot of the critters on this path do. And it looks like it doesn't really matter that much because we're going to be able to manage these guys with regular attacks relatively quick. Done. I like XP and gold. Hi guys. Uh, oh, Avs XP, huh? All right, let's uh, let's see if Luminaire does you in really quick. Where do you guys absorb magic before I go doing stuff? Oh, yep. Yeah. They absorb magic. Does Frog Squash work on you guys? That works. Oop. Well, that's not good. That's all sorts of not good. I shouldn't have messed around with the magic. Alright, let me go ahead and raise Frog and do a regular attack. I wish I'd brought one more healer along. There we go. Alright, let's do a regular attack. Let's do a frenzy. And let's get Frog a cure two real quick. Or not. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to go, uh... You burn all my money and buy items. Um, all right. Let's, uh, mm, mm, Yeah, because that's a lot of money. So, yeah, let's get to that save point. We'll backtrack out of here and take care of that money issue that I completely forgot to do. All right, these guys are probably physical attacks only, so let's do that. Let's do that. Maybe I should have brought Ayla with me. She's got more physical techs. Yeah, Ayla and Robo might have been the better pair for this, just given the... The more physical options that they have. Uh, let's go. Can't remember if that's aerial strike or arterial strike. I mean, yeah, six and one half dozen the other, but. Let's get the frenzy in there. Yeah, that is aerial strike. Let's go overkill this guy real quick. Oh man, I knew I was forgetting something. Alright. Gold and Turbo Ether. Let's uh let's go to our inventory. Let's go ahead and use a shelter. Because we're about to have more of them than we know what to do with. Let's save just in case something bad happens. Now, I know we're going to earn gold that we're not going to be able to take with us on our way through, but let's go ahead and uh, prep for a new game plus, because I am also considering doing one or two alternate endings. I haven't quite settled on yet. Depends on, uh, depends on how far we get tonight. All right, let's go to the epoch. And what we want to do is we want to go to the present. Because we did Magus's side quest. The, uh, where, where's the village? Nope. 
There we go. These guys actually give you the best prices. Oh, not the residents, though. Uh, these guys give you the best prices since you do the side quest. So this is where you can actually buy things and then sell them later for a massive profit. All right, we're going to want shelters anyway, because remember, they, these are normally 150, so we're buying them for 112. Uh, let's go ahead and... How many of these can we get anyway? Yeah, 77 will bring us up to 99. Uh, revive a KO'd ally. Let's go ahead and... Because we're going to want those anyway. Uh, I never actually <laughs> used the ones that we had. But that's a good thing to have handy anyway, in a pinch. Uh, remove status elements. Yeah, let's go ahead and get 99 of those. Uh, the high potion. Oh, yeah. We're going to want we're gonna want as many of those as we can get our hands on. Because those did come in handy periodically throughout. And if you're going to play New Game Plus, it's good to have a few of those. Uh, mid potions are also good for temporary... For small bumps up in uh, magic points. Let's go ahead and get those. Um, I'm actually going to go ahead and get a bunch of potions, even though it, it only restores 50 hit, point, or 50 hit points. Uh, it's nice for spot heals, especially as we're going through the early portions of the game. Um, yeah, we'll do the same thing for the ether, even though 10 magic points isn't much. Um, Got to dump the money in somewhere, right? Then we got to find somewhere else to dump our million and a half. Um, so what else can we buy that's going to give us something worthwhile? Uh, hmm. All right. Zanmato's never going to be mistaken for my top sword, but we should be able to get a good resale price out of that. So let's go ahead and dump. Oh, <laughs> that almost that almost sent, uh, spent a bunch of it. All right, uh, radiant plates ought to get us the next little bit. Oh, I still got two k left to go. Two and a half k. Um, hmm. Uh, we got 191 left to spend. All right. That, that's as close as we're going to get to uh, spending it all. Because, again, remember, when you play the new game plus, you cannot get... Um, no, that's the wrong button. Um... You cannot take your money with you. Your items will go with you, but not your money. So, do what you do with your money. Oops. Uh, where did the black omen go? There we go. Now, it should be right as we left it. Yeah. Queen Zeal isn't going to mock us. Now, you can, uh, the other thing you can do is you can start from the future and work your way to the past and fight that monster multiple times, uh, which is a really good way of racking up the XP if you really want to grind up some levels quick. Uh, you can basically go through the Black Omen at each level, or, or at each age from the 2300s on back and defeat the Black Omen multiple times. You won't be able to get the final boss out of after you do it the first time, but you will be able to grind up through these high XP people as you go. So kind of keep that in mind. With that, I'm going to be a little bit smarter and see that we're edging up on the end of the end of my time. And thank you for joining along so far. If you're watching live on Twitch or Mixer, hang tight. There's still more to come. If you want to watch live, I stream Thursdays at 6 p.m. U.S. Eastern. There's a link in the description below. Uh, bear in mind that Mixer will, will uh, while I will keep the count, I will not actively stream on it after March is over. 
So beginning the 1st of April. And no, that's not a joke. And um, if you haven't already, make sure that you follow and Twitch get notified when I go live. And definitely subscribe to the YouTube channel. Helps the channel out and you'll get notified when new episodes and other content get posted. So live folks, give me a minute to prep the next episode. And YouTube folks, I'll see you tomorrow.